Hey, this is Ciderhelm, and welcome to the Vainglory Hero Spotlight. Today we're looking at Lyra, a Githian battle mage who excels at safeguarding allies and breaking through enemy lines. Lyra uses healing and protective magic to turn enemy positions into powerful zones for her allies. Utility and defense items improve her role as a healer, while crystal items provide a devastating but fragile mage path. Lyra's heroic perk, Principal Arcanum, replaces her basic attacks with arcane missiles. These spells can be released quickly, dealing crystal damage and improving with crystal power. Whenever Lyra holds her ground for a moment after releasing a missile, she prepares a much stronger arcane missile that deals more damage and applies a brief but powerful slow to her target. These stronger missiles cost a small amount of energy. Attack speed items such as Alternating Current allow her to prepare missiles more quickly and release them more often. Both the normal and strong arcane missiles apply weapon effects to their target. Lyra places her Imperial Sigil at the target location, granting vision in a small area. Depending on where it's placed, the Sigil can perform distinct defensive and offensive roles. When placed near injured allies, the Sigil will automatically begin healing them. Once the Sigil's life force is fully consumed, or when Lyra reactivates the ability, it provides a burst of healing and movement speed to affected allies. When placed near enemy heroes, the Sigil will automatically begin damaging them, before dealing a burst of damage to all enemies when it expires. I recommend learning and upgrading this ability first, then taking its overdrive. Lyra's Bright Bulwark sends out a pulse of magical energy, damaging and slowing nearby enemies as it forms a powerful anti-mobility zone. This zone protects Lyra and her allies in three ways. First, the walls of the zone apply the same damage and slow as the initial pulse to anyone who walks through them. Second, enemies attempting to dash or leap through the zone's walls are interrupted and stop short. Third, enemies inside the zone are snared, allowing them to move but preventing them from using many movement-based abilities. This ability has a very long cooldown. I recommend learning and upgrading this ability second, then taking its overdrive. Lyra's Arcane Passage Ultimate allows her to blink to a target location, leaving portals at each end. While active, these portals can be seen by both teams. Heroes on both teams can enter either portal to teleport to the other end. However, each hero must wait several seconds before they can re-enter these portals. Lyra's Bright Bulwark has a special interaction with Arcane Passage. When she lands the initial pulse on enemy heroes, they will not be able to enter portals for several seconds. I recommend learning Arcane Passage when it's available, but taking the Imperial Sigil and Bright Bulwark Overdrives instead of fully upgrading this ultimate. Lyra is rushing down the lane to rescue Blackfeather from the enemy Krull. As soon as she's in range, she throws her Sigil between the two, then immediately reactivates the Sigil to detonate it. Although quick detonations like this deliver less healing and damage than allowing them to run their course, the speed boost will allow Blackfeather to fall back to safety. Lyra shields Blackfeather with a Bulwark before firing several arcane missiles and blinking in pursuit of Krull. Even though her ally is injured, Lyra's ability to heal and protect Blackfeather allows him to confidently return to pushing the lane. Without the same protection, the enemy Scarf is forced to fall back. Lyra's channeled arcane missiles make her incredibly threatening to fleeing enemies. So long as she started in range to attack an enemy with the smaller missile, the stronger missile is guaranteed to release regardless of how far the enemy runs. And although Lyra herself loses ground by channeling the shot, the slow can allow allies to catch up to enemies who may otherwise escape. Although Lyra is particularly good at protecting her allies and securing kills on fleeing enemies, she has unusually low natural defenses, making her one of Vainglory's most fragile heroes. Even when building defensive items for her healing path, her long cooldowns leave windows of vulnerability where smart teams can focus and kill her. Throughout this match, Lyra's team has been hunted by the enemy assassins, but they're about to fight back. With portals and a bulwark, Lyra and her allies blink directly into the middle of the enemy team. Although Kestrel and Celeste are vulnerable to assassins like Taka and Blackfeather, Lyra's placed a sigil to heal her allies while the bulwark has snared their opponents. This snare is preventing Blackfeather from using his lunge or his rose offensive ultimate. Taka, however, has successfully completed an Xretsu dash, this is because Bulwark has a slight delay before it finishes forming, meaning that Lyra cannot reactively counter extremely fast dashes such as Xretsu or Glaive's Afterburn. 
After a few short seconds, Celeste and Kestrel have annihilated Ozo and leave Blackfeather running for his life. This engagement has created a total reversal of fortune, with Lyra and her allies now hunting the assassins. In any match, the biggest mistake Lyra's enemies can make is ignoring her. She is a siegebreaker, capable of taking enemy positions or bypassing them entirely. She holds these positions and moves her team in ways that no other hero can. Thanks for watching the Lyra Hero Spotlight. Download Vainglory free on the Apple App Store, Google Play, and the Amazon App Store.